In our last video, we made a button that took our group of students from our random list over here, and we assigned them into our seating chart by alphabetical order. So what we're going to do um, next is we're going to take our students and we're going to put them into a random order. So we had some things that were hidden, so we're going to unhide these. And we're going to add in a new column under here, under J. We're going to call it random. And I'll make that one bold too. So what we want to do is we want to assign a random number. And we're going to link it to the students that are over here. So we're going to tell Excel to scramble it up according to the random number that it's going to generate. But again, we don't want to keep doing that. We want to do it with a button. And so to do that, we'll assign it another macro. So we'll go up to Tools. We'll go down to Macro, and then we'll do Record a New Macro again. Uh, this time, I'm going to call it Seat Random, and then just click OK. So over here, we need to assign a random number, and we'll click on this cell. And the way that we assign it a random number is just type in R-A-N-D, uh, sorry, equals R-A-N-D, and then open parentheses, close parentheses, and then just hit Enter. So a random number has been generated. So we want to do that for all these students. So we'll click here on that cell. And then at the bottom right corner, when it turns into the dark crosshair, we'll just drag that all the way down next to our student list. And now we've got a random number that's generated for each of these students. So we want to sort based on the random number that gets generated. So we're going to highlight both the sorted and the random columns. And we'll go back to our data. Go back over to sort, and we're going to do a custom sort. And when this comes up, on this part over here where it says column, we can do it under the sorted column. We have that header. If we click on this, we also have an option for random. Well, that's what we want, because we want to sort these students randomly to those seats. And then we'll just click OK. And that's pretty much done. So we'll just click over here to get rid of those highlights. And we'll go back up to Tools. Go to Macro, and we'll do Stop Recording. And we're pretty much done with this macro. The only thing that's left to do is make another button. So if you remember, we'll go up to Insert. We'll go down to Shape. Pick whichever one that you want. I'm going to pick the same one as the other one. When you click over here, the shape comes up. I'll drag it next to the other one. And I'm going to right-click on it, edit the text. And for this one, I'm going to type in random. Highlight the whole thing, make it the same font, 14, center it, and now we've got another button that says random. So we have to assign that macro to this one. So we'll right click on it, assign the macro, and this one was the random button, so we'll do seat random, and then we'll click OK, and just click anywhere else. Now we have a button that every time you click it, randomizes those students. If you want to put them back to alphabetical order, well, we have a button for that. Perfect. So you can do this in any way that you'd like. If you want to add another button that did it in backwards ABC order, you would go through the same steps that we did for the first uh, video for the ABC, but instead of choosing A to Z, you would choose Z to A. And you could put in another button right next to it. It would be exactly the same. Um, what I'm going to do for mine is I'm going to highlight these together. I'm going to merge it. I'll do the same thing with this next row, merge. This next row over here, merge. And it's basically done. If you want to hide these, you can. Um, just make sure that you save it. And remember, when you save, you have to make sure that it has the, um, the macro-enabled workbook when you save it. Um, if you want to print it, pretty simple. You can just highlight the part that you want. You don't need everything else. And then you can go to your print menu. And it's completely up to you. I mean, these are set up right over here. Um, but you can just do the selection. And then you have your seating chart that's there. Right? And of course, you could do landscape. You can make it fit the whole page. Yeah, you can save it as a PDF.
Um, you can even change these cells here before you print it so that it's in the middle, centered. Um, you can wrap text it. You can make these bigger as well. And then you can print this selection over here. Print. We'll just do the selection. Page setup. Landscape. Fit to the whole page. OK. Right? You can print it. Save it as a PDF. It's completely up to you at this point. So I hope this has helped a little bit. I'm going to hide this. Make it look a little bit better. And there you got it. You got ABC and random. Thanks for watching.